Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I hope everybody's having a great day. My name is Valerie Kime, in case anybody is new here. Today is just one of those days where I'm struggling to find motivation. I have so much to do today, and I don't feel like doing any of it. But I did get the bathrooms cleaned already, so that is something. It is quarter after nine. We have just been kind of hanging out, chilling. <laughs> he loves watching himself in the mirror. Don't ya? Ugh. He just kind of started with a cold literally last night. I need to wipe his nose. Yeah. Hey buddy, do you need your nose wiped? <laughs> it also smells like he needs a diaper change. Anyway, we're just kind of hanging out today. Well, not really hanging out, but right now we are. What's actually happening today, I'm not really looking forward to it. Today is a Friday. Actually, when you guys are watching this, we're gonna be in Florida, actually. Um, my husband, one of his best friends is getting married, and Chip is in the bridal party. And so we're headed to Florida on Tuesday, and we're gonna come back the following Tuesday. But today is Friday, and I'm trying to get all my stuff done before I go, so by the time you're watching this, this will be, will be in Florida. <laughs> But what's happening today is I want to clean my house, get that all finished, and then I also have a pelvic floor physical therapy appointment. So a couple weeks ago I went in and saw my midwife and just kind of got things evaluated and it turns out I probably would benefit from some therapy a little bit and I'm just not looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to it in a sense that hopefully it'll start getting better but just not looking forward to the therapy itself. I haven't really even talked about it on my channel, but I finally just decided, you know what, it's been nine, Mateo is nine months old today, and so it's been nine months, I should probably not still be dealing with some pain that I am, so we're gonna get it checked out, hopefully fix it soon. But speaking of it being Mateo's nine month birthday, <laughs> I want to show you guys, so I want to do, when I was pregnant with him, when I was nine months pregnant, I took a picture, like a selfie, at nine months, and I thought when he is nine months old, I'm going to take another picture and do like a nine months in, nine month out picture. Let's see if I can find it. It might be on Snapchat. Here it is. Look how huge, well, okay, huge. Look how large I am. I hate the word huge. <laughs> I'm so big, I just can't get over that he was actually ever inside of me at one point, but I'm gonna take a picture with him, see if I can get him to cooperate. And I'm wearing a red shirt because I'm also wearing a red shirt in that picture. <laughs> I need to, as far as cleaning goes, I still need to <clears throat> vacuum and sweep and mop my floors and dust. All I've gotten done so far is clean the bathroom and of course take care of him and, you know, the dog. She's been kind of naughty this morning. I just changed his diaper and it reminded me to tell you Never will I ever, ever again buy cheap off-brand diapers or wipes. I was at a local Bent and Dent store or whatever, and they had wipes and they had diapers for like a really good price. Now I know why they were such a good price. The diapers, they were awful. I kid you not, almost every time he peed, especially at night, it would come through onto his clothes. They didn't hold anything in. Every time I would get him up in the morning, I'd be like, oh, what do you know, he peed through. And I was just waiting until I was done with these dumb diapers. <laughs> I'm finally finished with them, but I'm not done with the wipes. The wipes are paper thin. I'm telling you, don't do it. It is not worth it. I know diapers and wipes can be expensive, but if it's something that you are working with so often during the day, you want it to be something that works for how much you use it. <laughs> anyway. I think the brand of diapers was called like Fitty or something, F-I-T-T-I, -T -T -I, I wanna say. Um, don't get them. They are awful. And I don't remember what the brand of wipes was, but anyway. Life is a all right, I think I got some good ones in there. I took all of those, so surely somewhere in there, there will be a good picture. Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I Let me figure out where the road goes Even if I'm falling down I will keep on searching for my highs Say I lost my mind, I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down
Jumping from cliffs so high Trusting our wings to fly Sometimes we're crashing down But we get up and start from the ground Searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down Coffee, the floors are drying. All that I need to do yet for cleaning is dust, and that never takes long at all. You want to know why I never do cleaning videos? I'll tell you why. First of all, I don't really enjoy cleaning, and because of that, I don't enjoy filming it and making content like that because that means I have to clean and I don't enjoy it. And plus, it's not my favorite thing to watch, so I just never did it. And to be perfectly honest, I mean, I'm exposing myself here, but I don't clean every week near. It's every other week sometimes, if that. And so it's pretty bad. And I have just been thinking, you know what? I'm gonna just try my hardest to clean every single Friday. At least do some cleaning. For sure the bathroom, that's what would need it the most every week. Do my weekly cleaning every single week. I think it would make a huge difference. I love hang out, having a clean house. Chip loves having a clean house. Why do I not put in more of an effort? Speaking of all of that kind of stuff, I thought we could just sit down here on the couch while I drink my coffee, have a nice little chat. So I wanted to talk a little bit about my YouTube channel. And so I was talking here about cleaning and like priorities. I want to prioritize cleaning more in my house. Something that I've been feeling... <sighs> I want to maybe, I don't know if called is the right word, but I've been feeling convicted, I guess you could say, of just focusing more time on my house, on being a wife and a mom, and just doing all the things that that entails, which would be cleaning, cooking, just making sure things are done around the house, and just upping my priorities a little bit. I feel like I've been not focusing on the right things as far as that goes. And to be perfectly honest, YouTube has kind of been second fiddle right now for me. I have been very uninspired lately. I haven't really had any content ideas. I've been doing a lot of vlogs, and when I do vlogs, I love to do vlogs, but the only reason I'm doing them so much is because I have no other content ideas. Like, I feel like I'm just dry. I have nothing. And I go through spurts where sometimes I will absolutely love YouTube and I feel so much inspiration that it's like a mental overload almost. And then I go through these really dry spells of just not having any energy to do anything with YouTube, no motivation. And that's kind of where I'm at right now. As most of you probably know, my channel hasn't just been a very fast growing channel, but I feel like I've been building really solid followers like you guys, very loyal followers. I should say loyal is the word that I'm looking for. And I feel like it's probably better to grow slowly but gain loyal subscribers than to just blow up really fast because a lot of times then those people don't always watch your stuff. Um, and I feel like for the size of my channel, I feel like it does good for itself, but to be perfectly honest, I've been really discouraged lately with just how my channel has been doing. When I first started YouTube, I had the goal in mind I wanted to get to 10. Well, first of all, I didn't know what to expect, so I was like, okay, a thousand subscribers. And I started my channel during COVID, so it was when everyone was home, they had time to watch YouTube, and I grew like crazy. I think I had 5,000 subscribers in the first year, and so that was way better than I thought it would do. And so I kind of suspect, expected again, okay, 5,000 this next year. I only probably gained 2,000 maybe, and it's just been really slow since then. And I've just been getting really caught up in just my subscriber count and my views, and it's becoming a hindrance in my everyday life, I feel like. And so that's partly, I feel like it's just been the wrong focus for me to have in my life. And I still am going to be doing my YouTube channel and having fun with it like that, but it's kind of gotten to the point where I'm not having as much fun with it lately because I feel discouraged that it's not growing. I would love for it to grow, but also as it does, it becomes more of a job, job in quotation marks, than a hobby. So right now it'd be more of a hobby, but at the moment I don't feel like it's a hobby just because I feel like 
that I have so much pressure on myself to put a video out once a week. And because of that, I just, I feel like I slack off in my other responsibilities of being a wife and a mom and my in my home and things like that. So I've been really thinking lately, I have so often debated about just quitting YouTube. Sometimes I'm like, with the world the way it is and social media the way it is, with everyone's opinions flying out there, and so sometimes I'm like, why do I actually want to be on social media? But then it's also like, I love creating. That is why. I love the creativity of it. I love the editing aspect of it. Things like that. But I think what I'm going to do from here on out is post videos every other week or just as I can and not have to feel bad about it every time. I Like last week I missed, a, I didn't post a video. And to be honest, I don't know if I will next week just because we're going to be in Florida and I won't really be vlogging while we're there. And I just feel like I need to step back a little bit and give my priorities a reset. And so I just wanted to give you guys a little update as far as all of that goes because I think I'm going to start posting videos every other week. It'll still be on Wednesdays if at all possible. Um, and then if I end up being able to post every week, then that's great. But I'm going to just kind of post as I can rather than okay every single week because of how dry I've been in my inspiration lately. I feel like every other week is a better option just for my lifestyle. And I would love to eventually get back to every week, but I just can't make any promises. And the thing that is so nice about this is that I know you guys will understand because every time I say, I'm so sorry, I don't have a video up, people are commenting and saying like, we understand family comes, your life comes before YouTube. It's just the way it is. And I really want you to know that I truly appreciate that so much. I appreciate all of my subscribers for who you are and what you bring to this channel. And I have loved creating content. And this is not the end, friends. It's not the end. But it's just a beginning of a new chapter, I think. I've been doing YouTube videos every single week for two years now. And I'm getting a little bit burned out. So, But the reason I'm not quitting completely is because I need a creative outlet. I love the realness of having a vlog because you see it's just kind of going along with everyday life. But anyway... That's kind of a big long spiel. It's kind of been where I'm at lately. And thank you guys for understanding. But I wanted to for sure give you an update to know like kind of the future of my YouTube channel, what I'm planning to do from here on out, at least for the foreseeable future. Videos every other week, still on Wednesdays, I'm hoping, and yeah. And I know I've asked before, but please give me your content ideas. What do you want to see? Um, things like that. And hopefully I can look down through that list and find some ideas to uh, videos to make for you guys. But yeah, thanks for listening to my rant. We can now continue with our YouTube video. <laughs> okay, switching gears a little bit from serious to fun. We're back in my room and I got a very fun package in the mail yesterday. I'm gonna do a little clothing try on haul for you. I got two dresses. I don't know if you've ever heard of Duvi Boutique. I think I'm pronouncing that right, Duvi Boutique. They sent me a couple dresses to do a collab on Instagram, but I thought it'd be fun to do a little try on on YouTube as well, which they didn't ask me to do YouTube, but I just thought, whatever, it'd be fun. So I'm gonna show you guys what they sent over real quick. Okay, the first one we have is this really pretty smocked top. It would probably need an undershirt just because it's a little bit see-through on the sides. But I was a little bit nervous, honestly, about a smocked top just because I hardly ever wear it. I feel like they can be kind of tight. But what's so fun about this one is it's nursing friendly. You can pull it back on both sides. Not This is not an announcement or anything along those lines. But it is nursing friendly if that factors in for you. But I absolutely love this print. It's so fun with their little kind of fluttery sleeves but it's a really pretty print for fall and I'm absolutely in love with this print it's just super like really feminine and to be honest this length of dress is not usually what I go for I usually either like to the floor or to my knees or whatever but actually now that it's on I actually really like it <laughs> Anyway, these are, this is, um, both of the dresses they sent are actually their newest arrivals. Oh my goodness, my mirror is so dirty. Anyway, these are both dresses that I have here are their new arrivals, which I was just so excited about. But this actually turned out way prettier than what I thought it would be. Like, these kinds of dresses usually make me a little nervous. But this is really pretty on. Alright, next we have this really pretty linen blend cream colored dress. I love this one with the sleeve detail. It has a little ruffle detail here along the waist. And this one is a little bit more the length that I like. But this is the one I was probably most excited about. It does have pockets on the side, but it's not the kind of pockets that like gives you extra fabric by your hips. They're kind of in the front. Coming from somebody who is not a fan of pockets in their dresses, 
this one is actually really nice. And the way it hangs is also just really pretty. I love the way it hangs. Give me a good linen blend dress any day and I'm a happy girl. I just love the femininity this one brings. It's just so beautiful. Anyway, I think, so they told me that they will probably give me a coupon code, but I haven't received it yet. So if I do have a coupon code for you, I will put it in the description box, but I will for sure be linking their shop and everything down below. They also have some baby clothes and it's, so yeah, it's not just women's clothing, but they have baby clothes, things like that. Just a really pretty shop. So definitely go check them out if you're in the market for some pretty, really feminine dresses. They're just so fun. I'm just getting ready to go to my therapy appointment. Just about ready to get Mateo up from his nap. I need to take him over to my sister-in-law, Megan. She's gonna babysit him for me. And then I'm gonna head out, but I'm not gonna film anything, obviously, while I'm gone, so I will see you guys when I get back. Here's to hoping that it goes much better than I think it will. <laughs> okay, we're back. Excuse this funky lighting, we're in the bathroom. Um, and yes, I'm kneeling down because I wanna be able to see you in the viewfinder. Um, I just got back from my physical therapy appointment. I met one of the sweetest subscribers ever. Literally, she was just coming out of the office and I was headed in and the sweetest lady, she's like, hi Valerie, and stupid me, I forgot to even ask her name, so that was ridiculous. But if you're watching this and you know you met me um, in German Village, then hi. <laughs> but anyway, I'm gonna do my little face masks and update you guys. Honestly, it did not go near as bad as what I thought it would. Well, I didn't, I wasn't really expecting it to go bad or anything. And in case you're wondering what I'm smearing on my face, it's just a charcoal face mask. I've had some pretty bad breakouts lately and I have not been doing this thing regularly enough. So I'm just trying to take care of my breakouts. Anyway, basically I'm just dealing with a lot of really tight muscles, which is why I think that I've had all the pain that I've had. And I wish I would have taken care of this like way sooner, but I just kind of always assumed, you know, it'll get better. This is normal, but it's like been nine months now and it hasn't really gone away. And so I'm just like, it's probably not normal. And yeah, turns out. Anyway, she gave me some stretches. I cannot take myself seriously. <laughs> she gave me just some stretches to do. It's basically like some yoga poses and stuff like that so nothing too crazy or anything but we're gonna see in about a week and a half i'm gonna go back in and see if there's any progress but yeah that was my take on the physical therapy so it wasn't horrible but it really wasn't fun either but i made it through so i'm gonna let this thing dry look who's here delivering a very happy package okay it's the next day, but I purposely did not finish the vlog because I wanted to film this yet before I ended it. I am so excited for this package. So the other day when we had company over, for some reason, our coffee maker just completely quit working. It wouldn't brew any coffee. We tried it several times and it just sat there and it just literally just gave out. And so I used some of my fetch points. It didn't cover the whole thing, but I used some of it and I was able to get like $25 off with my fetch points, which by the way, if you're curious what fetch is, it's gonna be in the description box and you can check it out there. But um, if you use my code, it'll automatically give you 2000 points when you start off and you redeem your points in for gift cards and things like that. Um, anyway, so I got us a coffee maker. This is from Walmart and I'm so excited about this one. This is what she looks like. Isn't it beautiful? I mean, come on, we have to see her. I've been eyeing this coffee maker for a while but never bought it because ours worked perfectly fine. And now that ours quit, hey, it's a good excuse to get a new one. Is this not the most beautiful drip coffee maker you have ever seen in your whole life? This is the Drew Barrymore brand and you can get them at Walmart. I think some of their stuff you can even get on Amazon, like they have their gorgeous air fryers and stuff like that. They come in different colors too, but I love the white. It's gonna go right in there where my old coffee machine is. So, Mateo's playing in there. Anyway, I'm gonna get it set up. Life is a winding road no telling where it goes. All right, it's all set up. I think it looks so good in there with the white tile and stuff. I'm loving how it's looking. 
I need to read all the instructions though, figure out how to use it, and that's always the part with new stuff like this that I hate doing, but I'm excited. It's gonna be fun. That is all we've got for today's vlog. I'm not really doing anything too crazy yet today. I'm gonna just kind of knock some stuff off the to-do list before we go to Florida on Tuesday. And I need to eventually, I probably can't really pack till Monday, but I have a lot of other stuff going on Monday, so I'm not sure if I'll have time to do everything. So we're driving down and then we're gonna fly back home and we only have personal items for the flight. We didn't pay to get like an extra carry-on or anything. So we're gonna, all three of us, we each get a personal item, me and Jeff and Mateo, and we all need to pack for one week in a backpack. I like packing light sometimes, but then other times with a baby, it's a little bit harder to pack so light, and it feels like I'm gonna have to be doing laundry a lot because he can tend to go through a lot of clothes depending if he's teething or not, then he just soaks his clothes. <laughs> but anyway, that's gonna be what my, the rest of my week is gonna be looking like, is just getting ready to go. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I'll be back hopefully in two weeks. So with my new posting schedule every other week. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and don't forget to like and subscribe. I would love that and I'll see you guys very soon in a couple weeks in my video on Wednesday. Bye.